Howdy, y'all. Thank you for sticking with me through this series, guys. This is a three-piece set that I've worked pretty steadily on called Ice Cream and Licorice. Hope you enjoy the video on the final install to the series. Uh, final results are going to be at the end. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and follow me on social media. Let's get going. All right, so here we got our third and final base color. It's going to be what I like to call a purple wine. The first one was red wine. The second one was a uh, rose pink. And this one is going to be another one of the ones that I made myself called a purple wine. This one and the red wine are similar in color, except for this one's got more of a purplish tone to it. And the other one has more of a reddish tone to it, reddish brown tone to it. And I'm just doing the same thing I did for the first two. Uh, just covering it up. That way, whenever I pour the base coat, all of it is covered very nicely. Um, as you can see, you can see it's much more purple. If you can look on the, on the table, you can see the brownish one. The reddish brownish one, you can see kind of the difference. They're going to dry quite similar, but you'll be able to tell the difference, uh, once they dry and have their true color, this is much lighter. Like the other ones, this is much lighter than what it's going to be when it's dry. And just blowing it out and taking my time and doing the same thing I did with the other ones. Uh, I'm excited to show the final results. They act, It came out so, so nice. Um, I actually might want to keep it, I mean, for myself, but... <laughs> I don't know. It, it's a really nice piece. I enjoyed doing this piece. It was really, really wonderful that it dried the way that I really needed it to. Um, and I love this purple color. This purple is so yummy. Mm, okay. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I'm just going blowing it out. You've seen it before. If you've seen the other two pieces, it's the exact same thing. I tried to make these uh, as similar as possible, only the colors being in different places. Uh, it's the same uh, blowout colors are going to be there. It's just going to be, instead of the purple being one of the blowout colors, it's going to be the base color. Uh, white on the ends, just like before. And uh, yeah, so you can watch this, well, what I like to call a very soothing part where I just kind of fix things up. It kind of ran over a little bit right there. I'm just kind of bringing it back a little bit. But uh, yeah, so enjoy uh watching this part i guess <laughs> I wanted to come back in and just let you kind of know why I do these pieces the way that I do them and why I record them the way I do. Um, it's just to show that it's a process. Like all these things aren't done like within minutes of each other. Like they're all done in the same day, but it takes a lot of preparation to get each and every one of these done and done as nicely and professionally as possible. Um, because I have to change out the colors. I have to change out how much I have to make sure I have enough of a base coat for each one. I have to make sure that I have an, enough of everything because if I run out, I may not be able to get that color the exact same. This is a mixture. This is not like a color you get from the store. It's something that I mixed myself. So if I run out, then that's it. And I, I'm probably not going to get it to be that color again. So <laughs> what's in there is all I got. So and it's just a lot of preparation and it takes a lot of time to get everything nice and neat and perfect and everything and you know the catch your corners and things like that so I try to take my time with it and I wanted to show it in a series rather than all together because trying to show all three of these pieces because these pieces are not small pieces these are nice sized pieces and trying to show look at my big old head but <laughs> trying to show all three of them at the same time and then hoping not to blow paint on another one and, and things like that. It was just, 
I don't know. I, I just didn't want to risk all that. I would rather just do it very systematically. And, uh, I mean, it takes longer, but it's, it makes sure that, you know, accidents don't happen <laughs> or that it's less likely for them to happen. But, um, it's the same process as the other two, but it's still having to do everything nice and neat and perfect and hopefully perfect. <laughs> Nothing's ever perfect, but as best that I can. So, and I take a lot of pride in doing the best job that I can on these. It, it doesn't always work out. It doesn't always dry right. The temperature, you know, the climate and everything doesn't always work out in my favor, but you know, I, I try to take as much time as I can to make sure that these pieces come out as pos as nice as possible. So, um, yeah, this is basically what I do. I put a lot of my myself and my time into these pieces. I want to I going for a certain look, and I try my best to make sure these that it gets as close to that as possible. So, but yeah, I'll let you get back to watching it. It's pretty soothing for me, so. <laughs> Just so you know, uh, if you can see in the purple paint, uh, like it, there's some parts that are darker and some that are lighter, it kind of looks like squiggly lines all through it. That just means that it's metallic. It has some metallic in it and it's gonna dry. You, you won't be able to see it like that when it's dry, it'll be darker than that. But um, but that just means it's metallic. It, it, you're not gonna get it perfectly to where it's no lines or anything like that. And I actually think it adds to it. Um, but it just means that it has some metallic and it's sparkly. So, uh, but yeah, if that if you were wondering, that's what that is for. All right, we're getting ready to get into this blowout color. Okay, same colors as before, except for the base coats are different colors. This is the magenta. I'm not gonna mix that up again. I hope not watch the same magenta. No, <laughs> this is the quinacridone magenta. I want a whole lot of it on there. I love this color. Uh, it's gonna dry much darker. You'll get to see at the end. We get to finally see the whole thing at the end. Yay! <laughs> Okay, and this is going to be the first base coat color. It's going to be the red wine color. A much uh, redder, darker green, or not green, but brown color. Uh, I don't want a lot, just like before. I don't want a whole lot because that will take over. And then I got my uh, rose pink. And this is one of the colors that, if you're not careful, can get really muddy if you overblow it or whatever so I don't want too much of that I want most of the magenta to be showing and I don't want a whole lot on there and here's the gold um, I don't want a whole lot of paint on there because I don't want it to cover the, all of the base cut coat um, but I, I want enough on there where it blows out enough too though um, but yeah final colors of gold I want to put a lot of gold on there it's gonna be a lot thicker than the other colors but that's because it's a metallic and for some reason metallics for me need to be thicker than the regular colors. I have no idea why. <laughs> Maybe somebody else can explain that to you, but I just know that my metallics need to be thicker in order for them to 
act right. So, <laughs> anyway, here we go. We're gonna blow it out. I don't want to do it too much. Just like before, I just want to blow out just enough. And this is going to start reacting with each other. The pouring mediums and everything is going to start reacting and changing and stuff. And, oh, I can see so many things that I should have done. <laughs> but, yeah, here we go. I want that to go all the way down. I want to go that down a little bit more. I'll have to blow that because I don't want to blow it too much. Get that a little bit more. Here we go. I need to get to the other side. Stop it. Stop. Go to the other side. No. Thank you. No. Stop. Oh, uh, the more you blow it, the more muddy it's going to get. Stop. Thank you. Get back over on this side. Go start. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Jeez, who on earth is doing this? Wow. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm just trying to get it to where I want it. I have a vision for what I, I honestly do. I don't know if you notice that, but I have a vision for what I want it to look like and where I want things to go and everything. I kind of try to get it there with the with the uh, hair dryer, but it, it sometimes doesn't quite work. That right there, I think, is over on the white a little bit too much, so I'm probably going to end up fixing that. Um... But yeah, I'm just going to fiddle with it now. I'm looking at it to check the composition, seeing what I want to do, where I want to go. Throw my big fat head in there. And just kind of going ever so lightly. Because you could spat, splatter it all over the place if you blow too hard. Or muddy it up or whatever. You just want to do just a little bit. Get Go exactly where you want it. Try to keep your hair out. <laughs> your hair and your shirt and everything out of there. And just take a look at it. Take your time look see what do I want to do is it okay should I leave it uh, probably leave it <laughs> okay finally we got the final results this is the wet results I'm just gonna show all three of them the first one is the red wine one show some close-ups and different angles uh, and the second one's gonna be the rose gold or the rose pink uh, face color and the third one's going to be the purple wine base color. Um, while you guys are looking at that, I just want to say thank you guys. Uh, thank you for everything and uh, for your support and everything. If you like the series, uh, just leave a like and comment below what uh, some things you'd like to see. Some colors you'd like to see together. Um... And we'll see. I'm probably going to be switching over to brush work simply because it's getting a little bit cold now. And uh, so, uh, but yeah, uh, just like, comment, share. Try to do uh, on time uh, videos for you guys. But uh, uh, follow me on social media too. Uh, I'm on almost all the social medias. Uh, it's in the description. Just pop it open with the. Uh, heading and just hit that heading and the description should pop open for you and uh if you're having problems with it then just uh leave me an email and i'll try to get back to you uh but yeah here's all three of them together you can see the difference between the red and the purple wine I've got some other paintings uh that i use with the leftovers from this and and i hope you enjoy uh this next one is going to be <laughs> just an overview of them and everything. But the final results, the dry results are at the end. Uh, just thank you guys so much. Thank you so, so much. Just let everybody know that I'm here, guys. <laughs> and I'm doing my best to bring you some good content. <laughs> but thanks so much. Bye.